Well, hello there. Once again. Um. Still messing with these guys. And, uh. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this is what I get. I just clicked the button and I ran. Um. Can we. Can we not. I don't can we just leave this place? I don't want to be here. Like it looks cool and everything, but it's just like I It's an interesting story mechanic. Cool. Ah, oh, cool. I'll draw something. Yeah, let me let me play the game. Yeah, there we go. Um yeah, let me save so I can, you know. Make sure all my GFs are not together properly. Ugh. I'm gonna get more experience. Alright, let's see what this one does. No, fucking. No. Alright, sure. Oh, does it just forever give me a limit or something? Are you serious? Is that like an option in this game? To just have limit all... I guess it does. That's kind of lame. Dude, alright. Okay, well, we're gonna be lame for a second because this is now where I wanna be. Yeah. Are you guys ready for this? That's pretty insane, though. Wow, I can just, like, cheat this whole game. Can't I? Wait, if I have that, why not receive XP? I mean, guys, I don't know if you know this, but we did, we kind of kicked our asses. You guys are fine. You see this guy fucking launching himself in outer space to drop that anchor down? Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy loses his voice. Oh, that's so sad. Ah. Interesting. I forgot all about that. But, yeah, I was going to say, it's an interesting uh, story mechanic to... Uh, just chuck your friend off the fucking ledge, huh? Um, not you, big guy. Come on. Now, what if they died? I mean, they're clearly... They're not good enough... They're not in good enough condition to even move themselves to jump off the cliff in the first place. How are they gonna swim? Especially with all that armor on. Well, no, I was going to say, it's an interesting story mechanic to, um, tell it in that, that, that way, um, where you have random characters who you don't know anything about, somehow connected to the main cast of characters, telling a completely different story and waiting to see how those two stories end up converging. It is cool, like, there's so many cool ideas in this game. Well, we'll just be wasting our time trying to figure it out. Maybe that was my dad. Oh, shit. Spoilers. Yeah, let's go. I think we're almost there. Um, this dude. 
I think I may have said too much. I'm sorry. Forget about it. Alright, now. Yeah, let's speed this shit up. Way faster than a train. Oh, yeah. Galbadia Garden. I kinda, now, this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Why do I have to keep redoing that? And it only gets more annoying every time I have to do this. It only gets more annoying as the story continues, too. Why does it do that? Alright, so now... I was gonna go, uh, by, by normal stuff by normal speed. Hopefully YouTube doesn't keep getting mad at me. Some of these pre-render cutscenes that uh, freaks out on me about. And then look, Albadia Garden's like the cool one. It's got all the big technology. That's dope though. I love when older Final Fantasies did that shit. When it, it took the pre-render cutscenes in it. Um, what do you call it? Like it, it morphed it into it's backdrop sequence. Yeah, everyone in Galbadi is a fucking bitch. Yeah, completely different. What, is she crying? Oh, boy. I'll beat you there. Yeah, fucking quiz this. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I got the save point. Yeah. All right. I always like the part later on when um, here we gotta go this way. When there's like all the fighting going on. In the Galbadia Garden. Uh, more story stuff. I just, I want to get to the, the Lionheart stuff. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get the brothers. The summon the brothers. How long are they going to make us wait? Not too long, apparently, Zell. How did it go? They understand our situation. Um, and Blom Garden is quite safe. The attack on the President and Timber was classified as an independent action. There is an official notice from the Galbadian government saying that Blom Garden is not held responsible. So, what you're saying is Scythe is taking all the blame? The trial's over and the sentence carried out. The sentence. Did she say he was? Did she say he was executed? Did I miss that? Of course he was. He attacked the president. He sacrificed himself for the forest owls. It was your, it was your group that got, it was your group that got Cypher involved in this. Your resistance faction, right? You must have been prepared for the worst. Who's texting me? Who the hell is texting me? Oh, someone wants me to hang out tomorrow night. Sure, Cypher was prepared too, so don't think of it as Cypher sacrificing himself for you. I'm sorry, I guess that wasn't much cons consolation. Let me talk to everybody. I don't have any good memories of him. I just, this is the part where Squall like freaks the fuck out and acts like a little bitch. I've seen some trouble children, but he was beyond trouble. Well, he wasn't really a bad guy. And you? I really liked him. He was always full of confidence, smart. Not just, just by talking to him, I felt like I could take on the world. Your boyfriend? Arrogant little bitch. I don't really know. I, I think I was in love. I wonder how he felt. He didn't fucking think about you. See, this is what I mean. We don't... When did we get this? 
If I didn't, I wouldn't be talking about it. We, we never received this information anywhere but right here, right now. There was no reason. Like, there was nothing that, that actually connects us to this. So I don't really feel bad for Cypher because I don't, like... He never even really interacted with Renoa. So how am I supposed to be like, oh man, this is crazy. Like, I really feel for that relationship. I don't. Because it, it just feels manufactured. Do I gotta really walk all the way around this way? Actually, no. Let me talk to you. I got something to say to you. Pfft, figures. But from, from like a writing perspective, how are we supposed to... Uh, respond to that? Cypher, never to be a seed. Alright, what do you gotta say? Oh, you really hated Cypher, didn't you, Zell? Yeah, but he was from Garden. He was one of us. If I can, I want to get revenge. I like him. He wasn't really a bad guy. He was one of us. Like, dude, he was a fucking bitch. Yeah. And then he. Here's another thing. So, here goes Squall. He's having like... Okay. So that's it. Can't talk to anybody else. What, he has like a moment. What's wrong this dude? I won't have it! What? Are you mad? I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past tense. And then he runs away. Do you see what I mean by just like... Yeah, excuse me. Um, I, I don't know. It, it just, it's such... It's not really good writing. Yeah, I go this way, huh? I'll just I'll run around. Where am I supposed to go? Hey, where'd everybody else go? Oh, there's your announcement shortly. Meet at the front gate when you hear it. Until then, like it's just I don't know where that comes back into play. Uh, Zell fucking doing his pushers and shit. Um, like Squall has this little freakout moment about Cipher being referred to in the past tense. Now he doesn't want that to happen, but like, when has he expressed this fear of death or whatever in the past? And to that note, when does he ever do it again? It's just like that one little moment, and I'm like, it's a weird moment because it almost seemed out of character for. A character that doesn't give a shit about anything. And then he never really, like, I don't... It doesn't inform any piece of his his character. I don't know what voices I gave these fuckers. We were supposed to go to Timber, the train stopped, so we had no other chance to come here. Kind of relieved to see you guys here. I never knew this guy had a piercing. Dude, legit. These don't look bad. Like, considering this was PS1. Like, if you look at early screenshots of this game. And what these characters actually look like in these scenes. They look like shit. This actually looks a lot better than the Steam version, too. Because I remember when they, they redid it on PC. Um, but this is the best I've seen it. And, like, the new remaster. Uh, um. Do they? Oh, yeah, they do end up finding him. What? Can I... Here we go. Oh, I should have saved. I didn't save. 
All right, what are we doing, Quistus? Is it more story stuff? Do I really have to put up with more story stuff? I just want to get this other uh, summon. See ya. Oh, I could legit just... I could bounce on all their bitch asses. I gotta talk to all you guys. There he goes. At some point... I think after he talks to me, I should be able to go do whatever the fuck I want for a second. Bro, your car is fucked up, man. You see, that's a goofy looking car. Who designed that? Good day. I have official orders from Headmaster Sid addressed to you. Following regulations, I have gone over these orders. After careful consideration of our options, we have decided to fully assist and cooperate with Headmaster Sid. Actually, we too have been planning for this for quite some time now. In order to stress the importance of the mission, I must first brief you on the current situation. At ease. You all know about the sorcerers being appointed at Pete's ambassador for the Galbadian government. However, the ambassador thing is just a cover. There will be no peace talks, only threats. The sorcerers creates fear among people, therefore peace talks are impossible. Galbadia is planning to use this fear to negotiate favorable conditions for itself. It is clear that Gabadian's ultimate goal is world domination. Garden is no exception either. It is a fact that the sorceress is planning to use Garden as her base. We have very few options available to us. We entrust world peace and the future to you. Hmm. It's a lot of responsibility for a 17 year old kid. Details of the mission are enclosed in these official orders. Uh, we're not already wrapping up disc one, are we? Oh, yeah, maybe we are. Needs of a sniper. Here we go. Here's the other guy that I use. Yeah, Irvin. He's always cool. Look at him. Look at what a badass he is. So, he's a uh, sharpshooter, but he had his finger on the trigger, which is like the first thing you learn about shooting a gun is you never have your finger on the trigger unless you're about to shoot it. Interesting. Failure is not an option. Bang! I mean, dude, is, are you sure that's acceptable to, like, pretend to shoot the fucking headmaster? Looks like a... Oh, ah, I can't do a goofy voice. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, um... Looks like I'm gonna be with you, Rubes from Bolam. I've been doing so many fucking voices, I can't. I lose track of like what's what. I used to be able to do a good goofy. I can't do it right now. Well, gorge. It's in the throat. You gotta get the Adam's apple going. Um. Are you cool? I, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Uh. That depends on your attitude. Um, I say things that get a rise out of some people. Just don't let it bother you and we'll get along fine. I shouldn't put him together with Zop. I'll remember that. I'm gonna get this goofy voice. I'm gonna practice it. So tell us the new orders. This is no ordinary mission. It's a direct order from both Balam and Galbadia Garden. We are to 
assassinate the sorceress. We're to shoot her from afar. Kinius will be our sharpshooter. We're to support Kinius to our fullest. Should the sniper fail, we're to attack head on. Um, thanks for the support. I I never miss a target. Eliminate the sorceress. That is our order. We're going to head to the capital of Galbadia, Delling City. There, we'll meet up with General Caraway to go over the details for the plan. Let's get going. Oh yeah, the general is Renault's dad. And we'll need to choose a party or trip Dilling City. Oh yeah, that's right, because he's he's all about he's all about the women's. He likes him some women. Now I think I'll I'll go with Irvin. But it's such a dick fest up in here. I'm gonna go with Renoa. Mainly because she's got a good um dude, you still got first of all, you got two women, one of which is actually eighteen, so why don't you shut the fuck up? All right, now. And we're a little past, so I'm going to call that an episode. And now, I should be able to do a few little extras. If you tuned in, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.